Good morning. Let's fix our screen lag real quick. I love this song. It's so good. And our lag should be good, beautiful. All right, let's jump in here. Uh, let's get our tweet out. We've got chat jippity. Generating an image for our tweet. Let's get Dune build going. Excellent. Okay, let me, I wanna see if uh, my buddy got back to me. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so where we got to last night. <laughs> oh, this might be the most cursed image this thing's ever spit out, but I'm going to use it because it's hilarious. Uh, it's the most cursed shit I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. So when we compile our templates now, Let's see, where we leave off? Check if the template exists in the base directory or in an extension directory. If it does not exist, fail. Sure. In fact, we should still fail with here until we nail this down. What the hell is happening here? There we go. All right, so we have this functor. I hardly know her. Which can spit out a... I wonder if we could do something like this too. We could do like a type template and that's just an A. Me. Nah, fuck it. Let's not worry about this right now. And my LSP crashed. Sick, 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 sick. I wonder if I can um, come down here and do. Yeah, there we go. What up, concavity? how much talking about cast iron on twitter is so easy to get people riled up so funny this person's got it right this is exactly what i do i use uh kenji lopez's method of taking care of cast iron pans. If you don't know who Kenji Lopez is, 
should look him up and buy his book. Or at least watch his YouTube videos and read his articles. <laughs> oh my god, people are so riled up. That's so funny. What up, Kyle? Do we need our functor to do anything else other than compile? I don't think we do. I think we want to start working on this context idea again. The context feels like a good, a good idea. Should write a bit to just post that for engagement farming. <laughs> Listen, I do post some, uh, I do post some uh, actual reasonable cooking content. Although I kind of want to keep on this trend of uh, trollish cooking posts. I might like, I might order like a super cheap, like knife sharpener off Amazon, like literally like one of the $3 ones or go to like the dollar store. And I have a set of really nice Japanese knives. And I might just take a picture of where it looks like I'm sharpening my Japanese knives with like a piece of shit sharpener or like an electric, electric sharpener. See if my uh, next door neighbor has an electric sharp knife or, or Jesus, knife sharpener. Make it look like I'm sharpening my Japanese knives with that rather than my whetstones. Also, y everyone in chat should just straight up buy whetstones for their knives, even if you don't have nice knives. It is so easy to sharpen knives, especially if you get like a 15 degree guide on whetstones and it takes like five to 10 minutes tops, lasts you six months to a year. Um, well, if you have the right kind of steel, but that's a whole other story. But you can get your knives hella sharp, hella easy, the right way, with a single whetstone and a guide. Yo, I'll, I'll order you whetstones, Kyle. Hmm. So let's, let's continue down this path of this context thing. Let's split this over and Let's just say module context. So type T is going to have our config. Yeah, that's pretty close. So a string. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Do we even need a context? I'm not sure we even need a context. Functions describe the world. Thank you for the follow, Manic Motive. Appreciate you hanging out this morning. Uh, okay, so copy. Let's go to this and okay, we're just gonna quit out. Come back in. Make sure I don't have a runaway LSP server. 
all good there. And we're gonna go to FS and CMA. Yep, 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 yep. Copy dir. This should be copy. Copy baster. That's gonna break a lot, I think. Yeah. That's okay. Let's go to scaffold. And we're gonna go to that scaffold. And we'll jump to this error. And this will be baster. Yeah, Nick. Uh, there's actually my coworker found um, a bug that's getting patched. Um, in f let me go find it. Um, yeah. Yep. Exactly. That is the problem. Let me see. There might be a version that you can pin. I'm not sure if it's public. Let me look real quick. Uh, slash Scalm Labs. Is this? Yeah. If you go pin. Can you see this repo? I don't know if this is public or not. I don't know how to tell. If you can see that repo and you pin to that, which the command is, I'll grab it real quick. Open pin. If you run this, that should take care of most of your problems and I will go show you what happened here. Um, It was a issue in OCaml's actual runtime. Uh, let me see, uh, ZG Balin, Balin, author, ZG Balin. Uh, maybe it's just in the OCaml compiler. This is a really interesting uh, issue to read too, once I find it. Uh, author ZG. Can I not find Balin? I don't know Zach's. I swear it was ZG Balin. Z Balin, yeah. One closed. Yeah, right here, here we go. If you take a look at this issue, I like got to sit and watch him work through this one day at work and it was like a bunch of this is so far over my head and way too low level for me. But watching him dig through this was super cool. The man himself confirmed it. Yeah, so this is the issues that you're experiencing. Um, there will be a fix in 4.14.2. And if you pin to that LSP version, uh, it should take care of most of the issues. I just keep forgetting to pin my thing in my new projects. Okay. So we copy our base directory. That's step one. Let's go copy this. And we're gonna go down and let's throw this right here so we can see. All right, so this is where a context could be useful. Yeah, this is where a context could be useful. Yeah, we do pretty much everything in OCaml. Um, our main web app is still TypeScript and React, but our admin app is uh, OCaml compiled to JavaScript. Uh, all of our backend services are all OCaml. 
We even have an Excel plugin written in OCaml and compiled the JavaScript and shipped. <clears throat> yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm re really, really thankful I found this job, and I'm really, really thankful I've gotten to work with some really clever and smart OCaml programmers. What up, Cyprian? Boom shakalaka. So this is kind of, this is where having like a context to pass around would be useful. So let's say we have like, um, that couch, although you don't like the couch. What's wrong with the couch? I forgot to even check my lighting this morning. Is my lighting good on me? Yeah, the lighting on me is fine. I was waiting to work in parallel with you. <laughs> yeah, just come to North Carolina. We'll uh, we'll set up another desk in here and uh, we'll have a little hacker house. All right, let's say we do have, rather than handle extensions, let's say we have a run. Um, Let's come down here and say let run and this is going to take configuration and let's say we want to make this context thing so let's say let context equals this will just be a unit for now and then we want to say something like uh, let's actually comment this and bump this down and bump that down and we'll pseudo code here for a second this will be context dot make config.name and then we can say like the context could be smart enough to figure out eh. we could say let at I guess we would do let um, copy baster and then we would pass uh, copy baster, we'd pass the context. We can just pass the context around everywhere. And then we can say handle extensions. And then we can say let compile templates. And then we can say let run actions. And then we can just say let, okay something like this, right? That's what we generally are shooting for. I have no idea if this is gonna work well or not, but I think that's what we're, we're gonna go for. So let's make our context now. Um, let's just go up to here and we'll say module context to struct and this will be a type T and it's going to have our config configuration on it, configuration of T. Um, we'll say we want templates. I kind of like that idea of having our templates on it. Do we not have a string map yet in here? No, we don't. All right, so module string map. Yep, there we go. I thought I turned off the noise for this. I don't know, we'll figure it, we'll figure it out. This is still the most cursed image of all time that I've ever generated. It's so bad. It's so cursed. I can't stop laughing at it when I get a notification. 
Uh, Jesus. It's so bad. Wait, did my bot break? Uh, yeah, I pay for chat GPT. Unbound constructor template T. Ah. Right. This needs to be this. So then let's say we have a make and um, we'll just take a configuration and we'll say um, configuration, yeah, we'll start there. And then we can say, let's say, what are we gonna say? Let uh, templates equal string map dot empty. And then we can say string map add and we can say this is a template module template s so how we do that i'm gonna sneeze <coughs> uh excuse me chat uh I have no idea about pausing subscriptions. My, I know my subscription wasn't impacted at all, but your mileage may vary. <laughs> How do we do this before? String map empty. Is that really just how I did it? Do I just have to do it in line? Module, let's just say this. Can I just paste this? Let module x equal in. No. How do I do these? Okay, is this still my playlist or did this like go off on its own thing? I guess this is mine. <laughs> okay, um, what am I doing wrong syntactically here? How did I just do this? I have caps lock on first of all. I bumped my function key, activated my other layer all over the place. Module template S. I should be able to just paste in this. The signature for this couldn't be inferred. Well, it's a module template S. Okay, yeah, there. What what the what the F? Okay. That was weird. So now we can look up our templates by their name, and in fact we should do um, package JSON template dot name. Yep. So now we get this context back. We can jump down. Let's just V split and go back up so we can keep this on our right hand side. Go down here. We can delete this John. And we can go to our run code. And we can actually start writing out this function. So let's say let run. We're gonna get our config. Let's delete this. And let's make our context. Let context equals context.make config. And then we can say um, let at 
underscore copy baster is going to be not this. It's going to take our context now. So let's go change this. This will take a context T. Let's rename that. Okay. And we got that, that will be a result. That looks good. Okay, and then we want to handle extensions. We pass in our context. Go here, and this will take a context instead. Context T. These will take, uh, that's okay. Configuration. That looks good. Webpack will come here. This will be a context. Uh, let's just make that CTX, keep it consistent. And then in here, we have our webpack. Let's jump over here, open webpack. Okay, and we'll say, um, what happens when we have our webpack? We want to, We need our real package JSON. So our context needs to carry our package JSON with it. So let's come down to, let's change what our template type is like. Uh, module context, yep. And here, this should actually be a template. Um, How do we say this? Can we do something like, I don't know how to type this or express this in types at the moment, but I kind of want the value of our string map to be a tuple where it's like, it would be template.s.t and then module template.s, right? If we could do something like that, our dot t is, um, in this case is our package JSON. So let's see if we can let's see if we can even just describe a type like that. Type uh, x equals it'll be. Can we say template dot s dot t? No. Module template s dot t. Oh, it would be. It would be something like this, template.s, that's a star. I don't know why there's a result at the end. My God. So that works. Uh, Mr. Super asked, hey, a quick question. Which one do you think is better? Uh, Flutter or React Native? React Native, uh, for sure. Every time I've used the Flutter app, I knew I was using a Flutter app. Um, some of my former coworkers are on the React Native core team or just work in the React Native ecosystem. And they are some of the most talented uh, thoughtful, kind, empathetic engineers I've ever worked with. So I'm definitely biased, but, um, yeah, I would definitely say I don't like flutter. The few times I've had to work around flutter, um, the flutter apps I have used, I've always known I'm using a flutter app and yeah, that would be, that would be my take on flutter versus react native. Okay, so how do we express getting the T-type 
from this? Can we say like, can we say, let's yank this since this, we know we have a, a working type here. Let's see if we can do change to our star. And can we do another module template dot s dot t? No, clearly not, right? Because you can't even know these two things are related. So I wonder if we could take like, um, my structurally typed smooth brain is taking over this morning. We could possibly do that. What would we even call this type? <laughs> I don't even know what to call this. Let's just call it foobar for a second. And if we take that and we move it like here, I think we could possibly do... We could do um, a foobar. Would that work? Is that loud? No, it won't work. Of course not. I don't think we can do this. I'm sure there's a way to do this, but I am not skilled enough at O'Campbell to express this without a ton of trial and error. All right, so the problem we were trying to solve, um, because I've seen so much hype around Flutter lately. To the contrary, and anecdotally, I've seen a lot of hype around like Expo and React Native, especially with Hermes. Hermes looks so freaking cool. Hermes React Native uh, conference talk. Uh, was it Chain React? No. Yeah, right here. This talk, if this doesn't get you excited for programming, I don't know what will. Hermes is super cool. I don't know who the creator of Flutter was. I wouldn't say you're on the wrong page. And honestly, if you're if you're choosing for a learning experience, um, like if Flutter gets you more excited than React Native, a hundred percent build with Flutter. Like that, I tell people on stream all the time. They'll come on and ask like, what tech to pick, and like, especially if it's not for work, just use what excites you, because you'll be more likely to stick with it and learn. Um, okay, so let me next this song. Sorry, that song got a little heavy. So how do we, ah, man, this is tricky. We almost want an H map. I wonder if I can use H map. I think I'm going to quit my job the end of this year. Well, congratulations, hopefully. Because, okay, let's think about it. If we have an H map, we could put in a... How does our H map work? It's a heterogeneous map that the values are witnessed by the key types. So we can effectively have a map with different values in it.
documentation. Yeah, let's give HMAP a try. Let's give that an old install in the, uh, let's go to our Doom project and we'll add HMAP. Is that all we have to do? Let's jump in here and we'll say HMAP. We can do Doom build. That should generate our opam install dot that. And that should install our HMAP dependency. All right, so we've got HMAP, cool. Uh, let's go add it to our dependencies. Should be able to come in here and let's say HMAP. And let's get Doom BW going. Oh no. Oh no, we can't use it. Uh, I wanna ask about this. Um, damn. I mean, we could possibly just copy this. Uh, let me go post in the, re the Melange Discord quick. Um, what should I do in cases like this? Shell. Okay, um, maybe we can just make a quick and dirty copy of HMAP until um, the Melange team gets back to me on how to fix this. We are working on Create Melange App. There we go. All right, let's see how they implemented this guy. Oh boy. What is a TID? Type identifier, I see. It's not so bad. In fact, we can probably just copy and paste this. <laughs> let's, uh, uh, let's see if that even works. Let's go into, we'll just put it in here. hmap.ml. Okay, and then we need a yeah, let's just yoink that. Go in there, paste it. And then we're gonna go to our MLI. I don't know what an MLlib does, but uh, we'll yoink the MLI. HMAP.MLI. Write that, drop in there, paste that in. Are we built? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that works. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can get this working now. Whoops, we went watch mode. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit shorter of a stream today, chat. I gotta bounce in about an hour and 10 minutes or so for a doctor's appointment. So let's say uh, we have, um, let's just say this is like a test for now and we'll say, 
How do we construct an H map? Let's go back to the docs. Great, love that we have examples in the readme. So I guess we can make a empty one. So let's just say uh, let underscore equals uh, let h equal h map dot empty in, and then we can say let h equals h map dot add, and we'll say package json dot empty. And then is it key value? Key A, and this will be module package JSON. Yeah, this is basically what we want. So we, sh we have to make that a key. So let's say let key equals hmap.key.create. takes a unit. How do we do this? Hide K. Ah, there we go. We want hide type. Can we do that? No, we need to pass it a key. Can I, what if I do a string here? I don't even know how to use HMAP now. How do I make a key? HMAP dot key. You would think I could make so this key. So you wanna know how to do this? How do I make this stupid key type? Binding, nope. Ah, we make a key. Uh-huh, okay. Do we use that functor? Maybe we have to do that. So let's try that. Let's say module um, package JSON key equals hmap dot key. Does this have a make on it? No, dot make. Okay, we've got a make there. What's that take? A key info. And let's go see what our key info interface looks like. It just has an AT. I don't really know how to ex use this, but uh, struct n type a t equals that. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad, chat. Right? This this seems okay. Okay, so if we come down here, we can what does this buy us? Do we have like a uh, package JSON? We should be able to do things with that module now. Package JSON key dot. Uh huh. 
add key values bound to V. Wait, 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 wait. I surely don't know how to do this. Um, I'm gonna run to the bathroom and start uh, the cup uh, or the my electric kettle and grind some beans for my next cup of coffee before my doctor's appointment. I will be right back, chat.
Okay, we're back. What up, bad cop? Um, so I still don't know how to use this uh, H map correctly. Um, let's see here. Like apparently we can use it like. we say let h equals can we go like that it's a pack measure but do we say package json dot empty empty string h in wait what How do we make our key? Like key equals package JSON key dot create. Dot key dot create. So that's our key. Is this how we do it? I don't know if this is what we want. No, this, this functor is not, that's not it. I'm clearly doing something incredibly wrong with this thing. How do I make an HMAP key? Why is this so hard? Key.v. takes an info. What the hell is an info? A key info dot T. How do we make that? Ah. <laughs> Shit. I'm just going to ask, I'm going to copy and paste this whole entire file and make chat Jippity tell us how to do this. This is lonely. Show me how to use this module. All right, while that's going, Let's just keep this simple again. And we'll see if um, HMAP is going to be the solution. But for now, I guess let's just like say our package JSON will be a package JSON T and we'll just take it along for the ride. Um, package JSON, yeah. I don't think that's how that works, but sure. My shadows takes a name kind of reversion. No, that's a dependency. Do we we went empty? Change to there, and this will be dot empty. That will be that. Okay, so now our context has our package JSON on it. Um. Did this really not write any code? Show me how to use the HMAP with um, code examples. Don't get lazy, chat Don't you? Don't you come out here and not give me code samples? Dude, we, we could. That would be great. Oh, this is interesting. Maybe we do have to use that make functor. Maybe I was wrong. Right, because our key has to be the same. 
Using ChatGPT is cheating? I'm not doing advent of code. This is an advent of code. This is this is for realsies. Uh, because I want to get a MVP version of this ship so people can start using it and I can start advocating for it more. And so we can get back to finishing our Apple to Spotify transfer. I just don't have enough time. I will probably do advent of code. Um, listen, I'm going to do advent of code while I'm at um, my parents' house and Justine's parent house for the holidays. And it's going to be a lot harder for me to stream. So I will probably catch up then. Uh, OK. So let's just say we're passing our um, package JSON along for the ride on the context, which is fine. That keeps it simple. Uh, so in our context, we're in our package, in our handle webpack. And let's say uh, we get here and we can get our package JSON. And we'll say equals context.packageJSON. What do we need to do here? We need to. <laughs> Can't believe you treat your founders like this. I'm so sorry, bad cop. Y'all, even though bad cop is giving me a hard time, you should follow them. Their stream is amazing and hilarious. And they have the best uh, interactivity with, with their chat of all time. Like, it's so good. You only need your laptop, enjoy your loved ones, actually. Well, let me tell you, Cyprian. Let me tell you about my loved ones. Kyle, could you, uh, could you give Cyprian a single sentence description of my father? Bad Cop is a, uh, is a narc role-playing as a bad narc, role-playing as a Twitch streamer, Role playing is a bad narc. What is Copilot doing right here? Does everyone see what Copilot is trying to do? Like, what is this? <laughs> Why? Yeah, it's copilot stream. I just, I just enable it. So handle webpack. Let's say we're just gonna get our package JSON. So we say context.packageJSON. Actually, no. We're gonna say what are we gonna? What is our package JSON type? Module package JSON. I want to go to this thing. So here's our T. Okay. And then does this return our, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll say let package JSON equal, and we're gonna do a nice little pipeline here where we're gonna go, um, we're gonna pipe this we're gonna say package JSON, package JSON, add. Actually, we're gonna say, what are we gonna say? God damn it. I'm all over the place this morning. We have webpack dot dev dependencies. I think we're gonna do a reduce. Yeah, that is what we're gonna do. So we're going to say let package JSON equal list dot fold left. And we're going to have this nice function. We'll actually write that function on a, another line. So we'll say let um, add um, dependency. 
and we'll get our package yasan, which will be our accumulator. And then we'll have a dependency. And we'll say, um, we'll return package yasan dot add dependency. And that will take our dependency and our package yasan. I think that's our whole reduce, right? So really what we could do is we could say fun.flip I'm trying to learn how to edit video. That's what backwards compatibility looks like. Yeah, it uh yeah, my father my father is very much uh, like the stereotypical can't show emotion, probably alcohol, alcoholism, lots of uh, trauma from his family. And we can say add dependency. What did I do wrong? Oh, we have this random okay up here. Uh, what's happening? And then unbound, yeah, it's fine. Package JSON, context dot uh, package JSON. Wait, does our context not have, oh my lord, what is happening? What happened to our, I'm so dumb, chat. I am so dumb. Unbound, do I have to annotate this? Context.t, no. No, I know there is a package dot. Oh, we said package JSON. So that's going to take a dependency list. Check this out, chat. We're going to just be like, yo, what up, webpack dot uh, dev dependencies. Isn't that freaking cool? That's pretty freaking cool. And in fact, we can take this. We can say delete end, and we can jump to the beginning of the line, and we can say boom, and then we can pipe that into there. Tell me that's not freaking sick. And we'll say result dot okay. What's this return? A package JSON result. Oh, we want to uh, we want to update our package JSON. So let's go to our context, and we're gonna open up this bad boy, and we're just gonna be like, uh, let uh, set package JSON. Package JSON, and then we'll come back down here, and we'll go to our result. Okay. And we'll say, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh-huh, doing all the fun flips here. This is straight bussin' bussin'. Kyle, you should definitely follow Bad Cop and watch her stream. She does everything in Bash and it's insane. 
Bad cop, do you put your VODs up? Go watch her VODs, Kyle. They're so worth it. And if you ever have a chance to catch uh, her stream live, it's... You have the YouTubes. The YouTubes. They're not dead, they're just temporarily resting. Okay, chat, this is looking cool. This is looking cool. We can then, uh, we gotta add our scripts to our package, Yason. So we'll do another fold, and we'll say list.fold left. Uh, and we'll do our old flippity skippity fun.flip and we'll say package yason dot uh, add script and then we'll say our context context package yason um, ah shit That's the right way to do this. So we get a context back, hodl. If we do this and we just get a fun x to x, our x should be our context. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is gonna get so gross, but it's gonna be hilarious. We're gonna do fun.flip. And we're going to say list.fold left. And then we're going to uh, invoke that with um, webpack.scripts. And then fun ack underscore. We should be able to do something like this. Is that how that works? And then we go, yeah, something like that. No, that's just a bad idea. I'm trying to get too clever. My Twitter has switched from sports cards to developers the last month and a half. I'm deep in the OCaml Twitter. I feel like a spy. Listen, OCaml Twitter is, you know, it's less about OCaml and more about the friends you make along the way. And then we'll say, um, we'll say in, and we'll say let, uh, we'll return, we'll say webpack dot scripts, and we'll do the same thing. List.fold left. fold left, and then we'll say fun.flip, add script, yeah. And then we'll pipe that to, see. OCaml is just like bash for real for real, except you have icky types. Yeah, OCaml would be would be perfect without its types. I'm slow, now I finally understand why the follow message says caravan. <laughs> Welcome, General Concavity. I'm glad you've, you've caught up after, uh, I don't know, I feel like I've seen you around for at least a month or so now. Oh, Camel is a gateway drug to bash. It's true. It's true. Hold on. <laughs> it's
it's true, I feel the draw to its power. Retweeted. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Or as Cyprian would say, boom shakalaka. General Slowpoke will be my new name. That's fair. That's good. I might alias uh, your name in my Twitch chat so it shows up as General S Slowpoke. Hang on my... <laughs> uh, let's see here. Surely I wrote an add script function, right? Add it, whatever. Yeah, it's the same thing. I have all the branches that are thrown in the name of someone I no longer know. Why is this not working? What the hell is happening here? Oh shit! I see what's happening. Dot to list. Dumb. I'm dumb. That would have been amazing if you would have won on your first roll back hop. I feel like it would have like it would have fit. Flip and this will be web uh, this will be package yason dot add script. No? Add script. This expression has package json.script.t. Oh, we have a type for scripts? When the hell did I do that? Uh, okay, so this is actually gonna be, let's do let scripts v, let's make this old. Old, oddle, let scripts, equal will be a list and then we'll say package we'll say script dot make surely script and we'll just say make yeah Do this to yourself. I have all the French set of thrown in the name of. Why? I think this should actually be script. Yeah. And then we want the other one. Yeah. Okay. Delete that. Oh my lord. Bad copy, you should just hire KML to do your, your video editing. I wouldn't call him a professional, but he does some pretty good stuff. He makes uh, some pretty funny golf videos and he's going to be editing my videos on like OCaml content. All right, so let's just V split this for now and rotate. And then we're going to be, let's go back to our scaffold. All right, this should be better now. Why aren't we building? Uh, 
Uh, well, you see here, this is actually a list of script.t and not a string map, whatever you think it is. Ah, it's because I skill patch skill issues continued. All right, what's wrong with this now? Takes a string. Ah, we don't need to take a string anymore. Right, uh, this is not a string map anymore. This should be a script t map. So we can say, uh, changing word, this will be script.name. That's really good. And that will be script. Wait, 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 what? What are we doing wrong here? So we have this string map. We add script.name, which is a string. Then we add our script, which is a script.t. Uh, we probably have to annotate that because it shares Structurally, yeah, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta help out the type system. Yeah, okay. Um, that's good, and now let's go back to our scaffold. That's happy now. Excellent. And then we just say, we copy this line, we throw that there, delete that, we come in here, And what do we say? We say result dot okay. Can I just pipe that into there? No. We'll just say shadow that and we'll come over here and we'll shadow that. There we go. So that's how we handle Webpack. And then um, we need to do some actions on it, right? So our, our Webpack extension, this is a lie. Don't lie to me, Dune. I figured if I bought Creative Cloud, I'd be motivated to make content to recoup my costs. Nice. Well, I will definitely be subscribing and watching all of your content back up. I will stand it all. Ugh, I don't want to go to the doctor chat. I'm going to have to give blood work today, which I don't really mind doing. Like, I don't have a problem giving blood. It's just like, I don't want to leave my house. I love my house. You know, I paid all this money for a house and like, I don't want to leave it. All right, so we, then we have this last thing where we want to copy files. We want to copy pasta our files. Imagine owning a house. I don't really own it, right? Like I'm, I'm very in debt. I'm in debt up to my eyeballs in a mortgage, but you know, I can fortunately afford my mortgage and uh, I'm just gonna be paying it off for the next 30 years of my life. I got very, 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 very lucky that we built this house when we did because I managed to get an interest rate that wasn't, well, it's still pretty bad, but it's not what it is today. Imagine being allowed to live in a house. 
I don't know what that means. Yo, what is this song? I love this. This is like scratching my brain. Ah, this is the Hollow Knight soundtrack. I can only afford an apartment. I, yeah, I'm in a very fortunate position to one, have always had relatively well-paying jobs, well-paying jobs, um, and also living with a significant other who helps pay the mortgage helps a lot. And my first, like, basically the first 10 years of my, or first seven years of my professional career, I like buckled down real freaking hard on paying down my debt and saving. And that's now paid off in dividends. Um, YNAB, in fact, you've ever heard of the tool YNAB? Uh, you need a budget. They wrote a blog post on me. Did they get rid of it? I wonder. You need a budget, Dylan Mulroy. Ah, I wonder if they deleted it. I bet Carly. Well, maybe not. I shouldn't speculate. Why not blog? Can I search the blog? One second chat, I am looking for something. Here we go. Yeah, uh, YNAB wrote a blog post on me um, a couple years ago. And now, um, just to add some context to your chat, some of you know this, but I am divorced. Um, my ex-wife had an affair, and that was a whole thing that happened uh, two or three years ago. So uh, just note that while you're reading this. And I want to get it out there that it's not my fault. I'm not the one that messed up. But uh, the article is still very good. And if you don't use YNAB, you 100% should. It's changed my life quite literally. Yeah. Look at Winnie as a pup. She's so cute. In London, for me, buying a two-bed flat was actually cheaper than renting. Yeah, if you can build up the down payment to buy a house, especially in the States, it's generally cheaper to pay a mortgage uh, than rent, which is really fucked up. Um, but yeah, if I rented a house like I own, um, the, the rent would be disgusting. It would be like double what my mortgage is. All right, so now that we have our updated context, I live in the Bay Area and don't work. That that will be a way to to feel title money. Back up. I'll teach you how to use YNAB. Real talk. I've taught a bunch of my friends and family members how to use YNAB, and like even my mom. My mom's always had like credit card debt. Taught her how to use YNAB a couple years ago and helped her with it. And she's got out of credit card debt. She's got an emergency fund, like. And she's a retired teacher, so like she doesn't make a ton. I know how to use it, but it will tell me how much I spend on Uber Eats, and I don't want to know. That's fair. That's the hardest part of it, right, is looking in the mirror. All right, so now we need to basically copy our files. So let's say, um, let's do that first. Let's go in here, and we'll say, um, Let's say let underscore equals, and we'll say webpack dot files dot 
list dot iter and we'll say function file path and we'll just do like we'll return a unit to start to make sure we have our types right there we go so this should be a string yep and now we want to say we want to use our fs copy baster copy blah 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 we want to do something like functions describe the world let copy file and we'll get <laughs> file path and dir copy, copy file to dir I'm very inconsistent with this module. We're gonna have to clean this up at some point. I guess we can call this dest. Whatever. I'm just gonna write a giant to-do in here. To-do, uh, rename shit and keep it your function definitions consistent. Moron. We'll be kind to ourselves. And then we'll say um, fs dot copy sync, fs extra dot copy sync, and that's going to take the file path and we're going to copy it to the desk. Oh, check this out, chat. We're going to do a little bit of uh, currying here. So let's say copy file, and we'll say um, fs.copy file, and we'll say dir, yeah. Is it dest? Oh, it is dest. Dest. So we have a partially applied function now, chat. So now we have this function that takes a string unit and we can just like come in here and we can be like change around that and we can say copy file. Ain't that fracking cool? And we can jump over here, delete in word, throw in a semicolon, boom. Not gonna lie, that's kind of sick. And we can actually take this down to another line. It's around there. Delete around that. View and word here. Paste that in. Delete that. Boom. We can delete that. Thank you for the follow. Hi, uh, Jomaho1. Appreciate you hanging out with us. All right, so this ain't so bad. I'm gonna commit quick. SL commit. We can actually get rid of the HMAP stuff. I don't think I'm gonna end up using that. <laughs> uh, I love how worked up people get about uh, about cast iron.
This song is a bop. Okay, so we can now handle Webpack. Let's see if we can shoehorn this uh, into our actual app. Oh, we still need to compile our templates. This is just going to get our context and we're just going to return it back out for now. Cast iron is the best. Did you see my post, Darren? Were you in chat last night when we were talking about this? I can't remember. Cast iron, I disagree. I don't think cast iron is hard to clean. Fun fact, you can use dish soap with cast iron and you 100% should be using dish soap on cast iron. Obviously don't load it into the dishwasher like I shit posted, but it is perfectly safe. Well, any pan, okay, that's fair. But I would argue that cast iron is like not hard to clean. Boil water, that's a good way to do it. I will take, um, I'll take hot water, rinse it out and then I'll, uh, put some dish soap in and some coarse salt and then I just scrub with that dish soap coarse salt then I dry it off with a paper towel I put like a um, probably like a, a dime sized bit of oil uh, high smoke point oil in the pan throw it on the burner wipe it down and then heat it till it starts to smoke a little bit and then um, yeah that's a good way to build up uh, seasoning over time as you clean. It's what Kenji Lopez from America's Food Kitchen recommends, and it's worked really, really well for me. Uh, that's fair. I try to clean as I cook. I'm not perfect about it, but um, let's write our compile templates function. This will take a context. Um, see, this is where it's going to get tricky. This is where it's going to get super annoying because we're going to have to, like, we have these templates, right? Like our context. This is the part I don't know how I want to do yet. What's gonna be cool is we're gonna end up chaining these all together using result.map. I know, they're so good. I knew I was sitting there doing dishes and I was washing my cast iron and I, I just like, I had the dishwasher open. I was like, you know what would be funny? If I took a picture of my cast iron in the dishwasher. Meta fell for it. Classic meta. All right, what does our context look like? This is the point that sucks. This is why I, I was kind of looking for a HMAP because it's like we have this we have this string map of templates and we want to iterate over our templates and call compile on them. Every template has a compile. Um, and they're functorized to have this type T. So like what I, I really want, so I really want like a, maybe we bring back the H map. This is tricky. So I really, really think I want like a type where it's gonna be like, I don't even know how to express this. Module, maybe like template dot st module
module template.s, it would be something like this, right? There's no way that's valid, right? Yeah, 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 that's not, yeah, that's totally invalid. That's what I thought. So this is the kind of type I want, right? So then I could like iterate over this list and I'd have a tuple where like, rather than having package JSON be separate, like the first value would be my package JSON, like the, the first item of the tuple would be the argument you pass to the compile function. Hmm. Well, I have another idea actually. What if we did, I got a bounce here in a minute, but let's say test is going to be a, um, a, uh, can we just do an AA, -A? is that a valid tuple? A and then it'd be like um, A to uh, unit string result string map T. How do I express this? Type x equals last chat GPT. How help me fix this type? I want a tuple where the first value is some value and the second value of the tuple is a function that accepts the first value and returns a result. But like, I'm gonna have to carry that type, right? Yeah. I think this is what they call rank two polymorphism is what I'm trying to do here, I think.
Hmm. All right. Well, we'll think on this. I got to bounce chat. I got to get to my doctor's appointment. So let's uh, raid somebody and we will be back tomorrow morning, bright and early. Uh, we raided Kristoff yesterday. So let's find somebody else that's streaming. Anyone have opinions? That's a random uh, redeem, but I've got good posture here. Uh, is anyone doing a camel other than me? Probably not. Thoughts? I mean, we could raid. We could raid Kristoff again. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. It's at least interesting content. All right, chat, I'll see you back tomorrow morning. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Super appreciate it.